Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can bring our data from Azure Blob Storage into our Python scripts. And we're going to do that in a way that pulls directly from Azure rather than having to download our Azure files onto our local machine and then reload them into Python. And I'm going to be doing that on CSV files. So you can see behind me, I've got three CSV files in my Blob Storage account, which is called data one, two, and three. These are in a container called container1, and my storage account has the name blobstorage.py. So those are all things that we need to know to get this set up. In Python, I've imported these three packages, date, time, and a few things from azure.storage.blob, and pandas. So I've already imported, I've already installed those. Install those ones if you don't have those already. And so the first thing we want to do to get at our files in our blob storage account is point Python in the right direction to Azure. So it's going to need to know some information about our Azure account. I'm just going to copy some things across. The first thing we want to do is to enter our Azure credentials like this. So I've got my account name, which I just pointed to before. At the bottom, the name of the container that the blob files are stored in, container one. And also we've got an account key. And I can show you where to find the account key. If I go up to my account, um, blobstorage.py, go to access keys, and then either one of these keys, I can click show and just copy it and paste it into my Python code as a string. So these three things are gonna let Python know where to find our blob storage account. The next thing we wanna do is connect to that account. So Python can connect to an Azure account using a URL. And that URL uses the account name and the account key and a few other parts to make a longer URL. So I'm just gonna post another line of code. All this code will go in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it. Basically this connection string is just adding a few smaller strings together We've got every Azure connection string will start like this, and then I've just substituted in my account name to here, and then account key equals my account key, and then every Azure URL will end like this as well. So now we've got this URL that we can use to connect Python to our Azure account. Next line of code uses that connection string and uses the blob service client package that we just and brought in at the top here to make this blob service client. So I'll just run what we've got so far. It won't give us anything too much, but we have this variable now called blob um, service client. The next thing we want to do is use blob service client to get um, at our container, a container called container one. That's where our files are stored. So I'm going to post in another line of code. Our container client, which is different to our blob service client, that's specific to our container, uses the service client and then this function get container client and it substitutes in our container name, which we defined up the top here. So I'll run that line and that one. So now we have connection to our container. Now we can look into our container and see what files are in there. So I'm going to bring those files into my Python code as a list. First thing I'm going to do is going to define an empty list called blob list. I'm going to iterate through each file in my container using this bit of code here. So for each blob, which I've called blob i, in container client dot list blobs, this here will list the blob files within the container. Append to my list the name of the blob file. So I'll just run this section of code. And I have this variable now called blob list. And as we just saw in my Azure container before, it's picked up the files data one, two, and three, the three CSVs. Now the next step is we want to bring those CSV files into Python. And I'll show you how we do that from Azure. I'll just go back to my containers. Go to container one. And what we basically want to do for each one of these files is if I right click and go generate SAS, 
that's um, shared access signature. We want to generate a shared access signature um, URL for each of these files. And once we have a shared access signature for a file, we can use pandas, we can just use um, import CSV and then put that URL in the pandas, get import CSV, and we'll be able to get it from online. So the problem is we would have to go through and right click on each of these individually to generate um, the SAS token if we're doing it from here. But with Python, we can do it from the Python end. So I'm gonna um, loop through each of the blob files in my blob list first. As part of this next step. And for each one, I wanna generate a SAS token paste in here this bit of code. So this uses the generate blob sass function that we brought in at the top here and this function takes in a few variables. We've got our account name, a container name, the name of the blob file which is what we're iterating through so that will be data1, data2, data3, the account key which we also gave at the top and this permissions where we've set read equals true so we can read it and also um, an expiry date and so we can use this SAS token from now until one hour's time this that's what this plus delta time one hour means and that's why we had to bring in the date time package at the top so maybe I'll just um, work through this for one file I'll just set blob i equals to data one dot csv if I run that we'll have a SAS token. So that'll be a URL that will let me get to that file. Oh, not quite a URL, just a token. The next thing we want to do is convert this into a URL. So with that um, SAS token that I've saved as the variable SAS i, I add a few more bits to that string and make it into a full URL. And so this URL takes my account name, um, plus the container name, plus the blob, plus the SAS token. So once we have this SAS URL, that's what we're going to be able to put into our pandas read CSV function to get at that data. So if I just run these two, generate a, URS, uh, a URL, then we've run just um, pd.readcsv to generate a data frame. We can now open that data frame and this is my data that I had in data1. And because we want to iterate through all the files, data1, 2 and 3, we're going to make an empty list at the top so we can append each data frame to it. And now let's run this from the top maybe. Now we've got a data frame list and so these are my three data frames um, for data one, two, and three. I can open each of them from the list like that. If I wanted to combine them all together, I could go one step further and concatenate them. So I've done df combine equals pd concat for my list of data frames and ignoring the index column, I can make something like this. So I hope that's been helpful um, for you getting your data out of Azure and into your Python code. Any questions, add them to the comments below. Thank you.